And that's it. I'm Jacopo and I study aerospace engineering. I'm in the first year of master here. Hey, my name is Matthias. Uh, I study engineering mechanics uh, at KDH and the uh, solid mechanics track. Hi, my name is Enrico. I'm from Italy and I'm studying uh, aerospace engineering at KTH. Hi, I'm Mayuresh. I'm from India and I'm studying vehicle engineering masters at KDH. I'm Chen. I'm from the US. I'm studying sustainable urban planning and design at KTH. Hi, uh, my name is uh, Ashwarya Sajiman. I'm from India. Uh, my program is Industrial and Environmental Biotechnology. And then when we are looking into sustainable development and stuff like that, industrial biotechnology, I would feel that a lot of things uh, extra are covered and then taken care of in Sweden. So, yeah. Um, I chose to come to Sweden because um, I originally wanted, I knew I wanted to study in Europe because in the United States um, higher education and universities are very expensive and so it's a lot cheaper to study in Sweden for international students mm -hmm. uh, coming from the US. Mm -hmm. um, for me it's definitely the environment to study in Tulsa in Sweden it's uh... <coughs> For free for Europeans, um, it is uh, very open. You can choose a lot of courses uh, in your master program, and everyone is really nice. Uh, and that was at least also what I was expecting. So that's why I chose Sweden. Yeah, uh, you stole my answer. So <laughs> it's actually it's actually really cool. Sweden, I love Sweden, and I love in general the Northern <coughs> European countries, and and it's free for us. So it's cool. And they have a good level of education it's like really 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 good hey it's free <laughs> <laughs> i think that sweden has this image of being a, a really de developed country not only by like even by european standards i guess sweden was is one of the best country in europe for sure in terms of quality of living I try to say the same thing because, um, uh, especially for my course as well, Germany and Sweden were the two best options. And uh, yeah, I chose Sweden because uh, it has really good course and great colleges, and you have a lot of uh, good uh, industry. In in the industry, you have like companies like Scania, Volvo, Northvolt, where you can really have a lot of good opportunities in Sweden. And yeah, and there is, as you know, there are several um, in my preference, I wanted to choose KTH as the first one because cool. I believe uh, it's more well known around Europe. I wanted to study in Stockholm I believe. I also applied to Uppsala but I wanted to um, yeah, feel this Stockholm experience and it's not far. You can, it's like quite in the center of, of Sweden so you can travel very easily um, north and south. Uh, first of all because the rankings there's these uh, global rankings that are really useful to choose your university. Mm -hmm. Here they are more focused on the practical side of things, while in Milan they are more academical, they prefer to study just the theory and that's not what they want to do. Yeah, I would say uh, for my course as well, the, the way the course is oriented is really good. They have a lot of uh, good industry tie-ups, so they model the course uh, to give you the knowledge that you will probably use quite, quite uh, early in the industry. <coughs> and uh, also, yeah, like I said, ranking-wise, KDH is probably the best college in Sweden and one of the top in the Europe. Lots of good opportunities, not only for uh, our courses, but for many other courses as well. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, had an urban, it had a sustainable urban planning program. Uh, I decided that KTH's two-year master's program would work better than the one-year master's program. So I decided on KTH. That's hard. Okay, so there were like multiple reasons. KTH was uh, one of the university which was providing scholarship opportunities because uh, coming from India, it wasn't uh, financially affordable to go to every other university in Europe. And also because it's a situation in Sweden where you look into sustainability and environment, which is an integral part of my course. So it's much more 
I would say, practically acclaimed than a, a, lot, a lot of other institutes. My initial plan was actually to go for a direct PhD. So, and I also know there's a lot of good PhD programs here in Sweden and also in KTH. So it's more of a personal thing that, okay, if I come here, and it's also very close to what I really want to do, the curriculum also fit and scholarship. So <laughs> yes, that's the reason. Like, uh, like I had mentioned, this that uh, there's a lot of practical applications. So it's sometimes you get lost in books and a lot of theories. Here you get that opportunity to put into practical use. Like it's not always assumptions. You actually do it with assumptions and stuff like that. So I like that there's a lot of group work. There's a lot of interaction. Mm -hmm. Back in my home country, we will only think about one country. Now you have people from different countries, so there is a good international mm -hmm. environment where you get a lot of exposure, like mm -hmm. how other country works and stuff. Like that. And for a biotech market, that is very important. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, they have pretty good resource student resources. So when you're at, when you're an international student thinking about coming to KTH, uh, they help you with or at least they provide a lot of information on how to move here. But the one thing I really don't like about KTH is that they lock all the campus doors. Um, and so you have to, it's like very annoying to swipe in everywhere. Here it's like, door, door. Right. Door. <laughs> yeah. And sometimes you need a card to yes. access. Yeah, yeah, you need the card to open it. Mm. KTH, I like that it's, um, focuses a lot on sustainability. Um, you can choose a lot of courses, sustainability. Uh, a lot of courses have that included. Um, also diversity, I think that's also an interesting point to say. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that is true. Um, every course that I had since now, uh, they all had a small but quite important module on sustainability and inclusivity, so that, that was cool. Mm -hmm. And also another thing is uh, group projects. We have a lot of group projects and I wasn't used to that. Mm -hmm. And I feel like they are so important. So I'm very <coughs> happy. <laughs> <laughs> the focus is more on like home works and uh, group works here, where Intel is more like, yeah, just study on your own and then do your exam and you're, you're done. Here is more like, yeah, half of, credit of other points you will get it from the exam, but half of them comes from assignments and home groups, homeworks and things like that. It's a contact that you had with uh, your professor. Here is more, you are almost at the same level. You can talk with him without having, without problems. It's really easy to talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true. My professor calls me Mayo instead of Mayrish. Uh, it's yeah, uh, they're pretty chill here. And uh, yeah, I would also say the same thing. And uh, the assignments might uh, be challenging, but in a positive way. You always get to think, and curiosity for me is the best way to learn. So that's very convenient. Also, the reason why I chose Sweden is because you just apply. apply on one website, and you can basically apply to all universities. Uh, in Sweden into all programs and you can rank them and you always get your first wish if like the first wish that is available. It's really intuitive. <clears throat> in this website you can compare you can easily compare to universities and their uh, courses that, that they offer. So it's really super simple to use and you can pick what's the best for you. Mm. Yeah. That's true. And you only need to upload the documents once. That is yeah, true. That is true. <laughs> that is true. <clears throat> My first shock was not a cultural shock, just like that was like in academics, you have two period system where the whole semester is broken down into two pieces. I mean, it gives you a time to do an in-depth analysis of a single or two subjects, but as a first year, it's a bit extensive and exhausting because mm -hmm. every two months you're changing your software, you're changing the way you study, you're changing the subject altogether. And because it's a very wide branch, I think that no, the students seem more relaxed than in the US mm -hmm. and the grading system is a little bit different where I think the grading system, they don't put as much of an emphasis on getting an A, mm -hmm. um, which is why people don't really, Swedish people don't necessarily care as much about getting an A. Before you came to Sweden, 
what was the biggest concern? I had read online and I heard from people that Sweden is quite expensive um, in terms of buying food and eating at restaurants and uh, buying alcohol um, and living expenses in general. But well, actually my other biggest concern was that the weather was going to be very cold in the winter and it was going to be very dark. Mm -hmm. I guess first of all the weather. weather here it's really harsh I would say really cold and we don't have, we don't get that many hours of light especially to, especially during the winter so you know like seasonal depression it's mm -hmm. a thing here I can deal with the weather but the food <laughs> is another 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 thing I would say the cold as well because I come from a place where winter is supposed to be 18 degrees and this is that is summer here so yeah the cold was my biggest fear I would say and yeah the harsh weather hasn't come yet but I'm coping pretty well I would say um, yeah at least I'm not dead so yeah I'm <laughs> and uh, yeah food as well yeah I, because uh, this is the first time I'm living alone as well like I've lived with my parents for like all my, like my whole life so yeah making friends and everything settling in would be mm. a concern but yeah, it's turned out pretty well here yeah because you have a family. good friend family. Uh, uh, <laughs> yes, my family my family <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. The, the fact that we are all together and yeah. we cook for each other, we eat a lot of like, uh, typical food from mm. all the countries around the world is a really good thing. Mm. But if uh, food wise for like Swedish food, the Swedish food is another thing. It's like. It's, well, you haven't, it's good. you haven't tried yet. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> <laughs> I tried Swedish food. And yeah, it's good. But it's limited, I would say. It's limited, yeah. yeah I see. For me, the biggest concern was uh, about the food. I need to eat gluten-free uh, food, so uh, I was a bit concerned I wouldn't get too much uh, gluten-free food here or <laughs> that I couldn't translate like the uh, um, ingredients, but it all worked out really well. Um, Sweden has amazing food, amazing gluten-free food. I have uh, amazing friends uh, like Anna who makes me gluten-free uh, spicy noodles uh, as a substitute. Uh, yeah, for me it was um, the darkness and the cold, not even the cold, the, the, the dark, like right now it, the sun is going down at 3 p.m., something like that. So it, if you don't go out in the morning, you don't get as much sun and even if you go out, chances are, <laughs> chances are there, you, there is no sun, there, it's just cloudy. So the weather in general, it's, it's a bit uh, worrying me even right now. Yes, I would. I mean, if you're ready to uh, like embark a change, then yes. But if you're too stubborn to like stay where you are in your own niche and in your comfort zone, then it might not be the best place for you. But if you want to grow or like develop, I would say it's a good place. And also, KTH has a very good international this, and it it actually welcomes you with warm hands. It's, it's fun. Yes, I guess yes. yes. Because it's nice here. I have no strong opinions. Mm. Yeah, 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 of course. Yes. I recommend it because it's a pretty good school and because the programs are good and the people here are smart. And if you live in Lapis, the people are nice. Come to Sweden. No. <laughs> Sweden, Sweden is great. Sweden is full of nice people and Wherever you go, there's a really high chance you feel uh, welcome there. And also in Stockholm in particular, it, it's, a, it's a capital. So there are a lot of international students in all universities there you go. And the thing I love the most is the, the fact that it's so green. It's full of forests and you can re literally reach any national park in 30 minutes, even less. Mm -hmm. That is definitely true. Nature is a huge point. Uh, cultural life, uh, you have a lot of cultural activities. Um, yeah, you have this fika mentality that you just go for coffee with someone. Um, yeah. The food is shit. Sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I would yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I think the Sweden, it's the, one of the easiest countries so to transit to. Here it's really easy. Everyone speaking English. 
Yeah, it's one of the major advantages of yeah. Sweden for sure. Um, you won't find it strange uh, at all. You feel like at home pretty quick. And since everyone speaks in English, it's communication is never a problem as well. Yeah. This is all okay. for today. How do you say goodbye in? Annyeong. 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 Annyeong.